Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part five of my Python How to Program tutorial. Today, we're going to cover how to work with files, both inputting data from them and exporting data to them, and a whole bunch of other things. This is the file that I'm going to be pulling information from, and here I'm going to show you how to do it. The very first thing I'm going to do is show you how to pull information from a file and print it to screen. Just creating a variable, calling the open function, typing in the name of the file that I need to get. Then I'm going to create a for loop that's going to pull each individual line in from said file one at a time. Again, here's the variable referencing the file and here is the temporary holding cell. It's going to hold one line at a time as we cycle or iterate through the for loop. Then I'm going to print said line out to the screen. I'm going to enter an attribute for end so everything comes out the way that I want. And then I'm going to close the file. Then if I jump up here, boom, everything's right there. And here is the original text file. And you're thinking to yourself, well, that wasn't very impressive. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll pull in all the information. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print out the best student and that student's name. And to do this, I'm still going to use some of the same code. I'm going to create a variable named best grade, give it the value of zero. Going to be pulling information from the same place, and I don't need that. I already explained what the other things do, and I'm going to pull using the function split. I'm going to pull each individual line from this file, and then I'm going to split these two guys up and stick one of those values into name, being Susie, and then grade. That's all this guy does. And if this doesn't make sense to you, it's because you didn't watch the other tutorials, so go watch those. Then, remember, I need to turn this string grade into a integer to be able to work with it. And I'm going to see if the grade for that student is better than my best current best grade that I have set. If it is, I am going to reassign the new grade to it. And then best student as well to the name attribute. Remember white space, very important in Python. And then I'm going to print out to the screen with the new line character first, best grade, followed by best grade, and then I'm going to print out to the screen best student, followed by the variable best student. And there's a typo. I'll leave that in there so that you know I'm not perfect. And now we have F closed again. So if I run it, doink, goes through all the different students, figures out that the best grade out of all of them was 99, and the person that got that was John. So there's another thing you can do. Now I'm going to do the most advanced thing. I'm going to get student data. I'm going to sort it. I'm going to eliminate any garbage that's brought over into it. And then I'm going to save that data to another file. So I'm going to create a dictionary here. I use dictionaries a lot in Python, and as you become more advanced with Python, you're, you're going to do the same thing. Pulling that text in again, just like before. Not doing anything fancy here. Going to do the same thing with the lines of information. I should have left all that other information in there so I didn't have to type it again, because that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing the same thing here for part of this. And this is where it gets a little fancy. Remember, I created a dictionary to hold all this information. The reason why is I wanted to use name value pairs. So what I'm doing with this guy right here is grade is going to represent the, the key or the name, and name is going to represent the value stored in said dictionary up here. Okay, so, and then after I'm done with that, I'm going to close it. Then I'm just going to create an empty string. And here I'm going to sort the dictionary with the sorted function. And then I want them in reverse order, otherwise they would list from worst grade to best. So that's why I'm doing reverse. And then print best student based off of the key value pair that is in it right there. And then at the end of that, I'm going to put in a string. And that string is going to be followed by their actual grade. 
If you don't quite get this, just tell me in the comment section below and I'll explain it further, or I might even do another video. Then I'm going to add this line, this string of text right here to the best student string, which is empty at the very, very beginning. And I'm using shorthand with the plus equals. There's that student string, just so everything shows up a little bit nicer. I think I'm going to put a new line in here. And then all I need to do is come down here and type this. I'm creating a new string, and I want this file to make sense. Just put my new line in there. Put two new lines just to keep it nice and neat. And then I'm going to put it at the end of that, the string that I created up here and stored all of the information in. And now to the output. I'm going to just create a file called out to file. Again, this is just a variable name. You can make this any name that you could possibly want it to be. I'm going to open the file that I want to write to. Mode here is what I'm telling it is I want to write to this file. If you want to read from that file, you would put an R there. And if you would want to have the ability to read or write, you'd put R plus, as you see on the screen. But I want to write to it. And obviously, I could do read write, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to encode this. You don't have to really worry about what that means. It just means that uh, every file format has different encoding. Da -da 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 -da. And then this to file dot write. And then what am I going to write? I'm going to write the string that I spent all that time creating. And just to leave a message for myself that this is done. And I forgot one of the other modes. If you want to append at the end of the file, you would put an A in there. So that would mean if you didn't want to overwrite. So with W, it's actually going to overwrite everything that's in that file. So. Let me see if I typed everything in perfectly. Finished update and student rank. And yay, it worked. So this is some really quick and easy ways to put information, sort information, get information from files and put information back into files and how to work with an, another way to work with dictionaries and another way to work with strings and a whole bunch of other things. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And in the next video, I will cover object-oriented programming in Python. Till next time.